runway? Daniel DeFelice got a treat from the police. He brought his band to lend a hand with his ball of rubber bands to help us understand that his act was really grand. David's jokes made us say, oh my gosh, in shock, but they were pretty funny. Not bad for a frosh. After David Belvedere, our next contestant's name was Kier. He's never near, you better fear, someone give this kid a beer. A pink orangutan teaching you about love and being bold, and the best part is everyone in the pit got rickrolled. Yeah. Yeah. Misha left us in all wearing his pink tights. His beats will keep us moving all throughout the night. Sexy dancing was the next act. It was rehearsed to a T. But it didn't really happen, so we're not going to talk about it. Yeah, we're just not going to yeah, talk about it. There's nothing to talk about. <laughs> Uh, Alessandro Flo to Cotton Eye Joe and LMFAO. He got us all to dance, and Luis even dropped his underpants. The entire rugby team, looking muscular and fine, helped us all climb the mountain of sunshine. Patrick got his wiggle on while getting drenched in water. I think we could all agree that it couldn't get any hotter. Ian, Par Ian Parker was fantastic with his fancy show of magic. He made Louis sweat a bit, but it didn't end so tragic. Hey uh, now thanks to the jazz combo, thanks to Amy and Kim, the show would be nothing without the help from them. Now the judges will go deliberate in their secret place, so now we wait, so chat, grab a beer, the time is near as we wait to hear it, who showed the most spirit. Soon you'll know, we'll soon be told, who will be next year's Mr. Blue 